Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day 47. So I apologize on the, the delay in getting this video out to you today. I'm at Mega Leadership in Dallas, but hopefully you'll forgive me. And we are going to put a bow on the reports applet, taking a look at the text and email tabs and the tracking that we can do from within. So let's go over to our bar and line graph, the eighth icon down. And we've seen this screen before. We're going to dive into these last two tabs. The first tab we're going to go to is the email tab. Now this is our email metrics tracking tab. And by default, when you first come in, you're going to see the current month. Across the top, you're going to see that there are four different tracking metrics. So it's tracking campaign-based emails, smart plan-based emails, one-off contact-based emails, and then other. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what other tracks. And yet, you can see the four different types. Right now, we know if there's a little downward carrot icon, that's a drop down. It's tracking all applets, but we can also go in and track in campaigns, smart plan contacts, and others independently of one another. It's gonna tell us what month we're currently on. And then if for any reason, KW Command provides our KW agents with 5,000 free emails in total, per month through command. There's no rollover, it is 5,000, use them or lose them. Um, but if you for any reason need more than that, you can click on the upgrade plan button. That's gonna take you into the marketplace and allow you to purchase additional emails should you need them. Pricing wise, very competitive to uh, some of the other options like MailChimp or Constant Contact, etc. Um, so if you do need more than 5,000, you have a bigger database you wanna send to, that's where you can get those as well. Uh, in the account usage, it's going to basically tell you how many emails you have sent in this month in our ProCoach account. We have sent one, and you can see here we have 5,000. We haven't purchased any additional emails. Below that, you can see the delivery and engagement sort of speedometers, if you will. Uh, in this case, we've sent out one email this month, and it was opened. So that's the good news. You could also see if for any reason it bounced back as undeliverable. If there was a link inside of the email, did anybody click on it? Were there any replies to your email and were there any unsubscribes? So you can see that a little bit better. In March, we sent out um, a series of emails. I think this was our ICA renewal to all of our agents here in the ProCoach account. Uh, so you can see 536 emails were sent. You can see that both here at the top and then down below. Uh, undelivered, only one bounced back. You can see 400 were opened. Six were actually clicked on none were replied to, none were unsubscribed. If you click on the view details button, it's gonna give you a box that will tell you the actual consumer or contact's name. Actually, it tells you the contact's email address. It doesn't tell you the contact uh, name. It tells you the contact's email address and then what actual um, item. So whether it was a one-off email or a smart plan, I'm not gonna do it right now because those are actual contacts and I don't want to show any of the email addresses or, or contact information for our actual agents and YouTube doesn't like that either. So we'll leave that alone and not actually show that information. Uh, but down here at the bottom, you've also got the marked as spam indicator. This is something that's really important to pay attention to. Uh, you don't want to go over 0.1% of your emails being sent out being marked as spam. Uh, that can start to get uh, your emails undelivered. It can start to make sure that your emails are delivering to a spam inbox. Um, it can also cause some issues uh, on the KWRI side. So if you do start to get into that on watch or on alert amount, then uh, you may end up getting an email from KWRI suspending your use of command mail until you watch a video on best practices for sending out emails. And then once you've submitted that information, they will release that um, that will basically let you go back to emailing. Um, but bottom line, you want to deliver emails of content that have value um, in small batches. And, you know, you don't want to send out 20,000 emails with zero value, that kind of thing. So just be smart about the emails that you're sending out. You've also got the texts and calls tab. It's really more text than calls. This is really tracking your Twilio credit usage. So you can see right now, Twilio credits roll over month to month for up to 12 months. So in this ProCoach account, we've got a whole lot of credits that we're sitting on. I might actually make uh, 
some changes to our account based upon that. And that's something that you all can look at as well. How many credits am I truly using? Are they rolling over? Do I have a stockpile of credits? You don't ever want to cancel your Twilio actual account, but you certainly can go down to the extra, extra small, which is 300 credits per month. Use up some of those stored credits and then maybe go up in uh, size if you need to. So right now, this month of May, we have used 941 credits. Uh, we've sort of talked a little bit about Twilio when we were looking at contacts and sending out text messages. Uh, remember that, you know, basically up to 160 characters with no special characters. That's one credit. 161 to 320 is two credits. 320 to 480 is three credits. You can also use MMS and that would be three credits. You can see down below sort of a breakdown. So we've sent out uh, 55 SMS messages, meaning they did not have any sort of attachment or graphic, etc. Uh, and looks like the majority of those were very short messages. So we only had 56 credits get used. SM messages that have come back. So a lot of our agents know our Twilio number. Um, our compliance team and our commission team do a lot of texting inside of our Twilio account. So we've actually received inbound texts and those cost credits too. And so you can see the total amount of credits. And then oftentimes we'll send out messages to smaller groups like our ALC, um, you know, our top 20%, things like that, letting them know about events that we're holding, masterminds, etc. So you can see those are our MMS messages. Those are automatically by default, uh, somewhere in that range of three credits, typically three credits per MMS message. So it's a good way to sort of track what you're doing in the Twilio texting space in your text and calls tab. And then of course, tracking your emails. Um, this is also a great option if you wanted to do some additional lead follow-up like if this was a true, and again, this is our pro coach account that we use for our agents, but if this was my production account and I wanted to follow up with people, I would probably start with the six people that have actually clicked on things inside of my email. They've already expressed interest, so it might be a great way to follow up with a phone call, a text message, or some additional email content. I might go through and kind of keep an eye on the undelivered and unsubscribed, potentially remove those people from my database or change their address, their email address if something's wrong. So some things to keep an eye on, and that sort of puts a bow on the reports applet. As always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.